Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How are you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here uh, just bringing you into my mess this morning. I'm kind of clean up, cleaning up my desk before I uh, do my, you know, start my next project. So I have these tags here that I made uh, out of scraps last Saturday that I wanted to decorate before I put them away. <clears throat> And I also had, I'll show you these in just a second, but I also had some scrap strips of fabric. So I'll show you what I did with those to use those up. Um, actually, I have more fabric strips to use, but this is what I got done so far. I just uh, added them to paper clips. I think they're super cute and they're, it's super easy to do this. I've got a whole pile here. I used jumbo paper clips. They're uh, just, this right here. Let's see, I'll get grab the box. There the, does it tell me the inches? It's this right here. Jumbo paper clips. I don't see the size on here, but you probably know what I mean. Uh, so, see, I just have little strips of fabric. These are longer. I think they're cool, too. And then some shorter ones, just whatever little strips and pieces that I had. I just put them all on paper clips, you know. So I have little paper clips to use with my journals, or sometimes I put them into my Etsy orders as a little something, you know, cute <laughs> and extra. But let's see, here's some different colored ones here. Just whatever, this everything. It seems like any kind of little strip of fabric looks cute on a paper clip, right? So I got all those ready to go into my paper clip stash. And then these, pretty much ready, I think, to go into my ephemera basket just made some little this is just plain I just put added a ribbon last night this one I added a ribbon and a little piece of this was black a black cardstock tag so I added this little piece of yellow cardstock so it could be written on this you've seen this I decorated uh, this I just added a ribbon because it's so pretty already, I just added a ribbon, didn't need anything else. This little tag, I added a few pieces, including a Tim Holtz paper doll. This one also is, uh, let's see, this one is a little has a little pocket on it. I added a, a second tag onto a tag. Some little punched out flowers and some Tim Holtz people. And an extra little journaling card tucked behind here, like a little pocket on a tag. And that's ready to go with some ribbon. This one I just added ribbon. This two, and this one I added a ticket here with some layered flowers and another tag as a, in a you know, I made a pocket here. And this is a little tag, so you can journal on both of these. And let's see, a couple more. This I just did like this, so it could be a little tuck spot on a page. I could just add this to a page and then it'll be a little tuck spot. There's a layered flower right here. And just added ribbon, went ahead and added ribbon to this one right here. Some eyelash trim. This one has eyelash trim. And this one just has some yarn. Cute, right? So I got those done last night. And those are ready to go into my ephemera basket. I've got a few left here. This one, I just put a little it's a little mini tag. See how tiny? And I just added some baker's twine. So these I want to do something with. And I've got this pile here. And then I can put all this stuff away and get ready for my next project. I just didn't want to put them into my basket until I did something with them. So these, I'm not really adding <clears throat> anything to. Um, let's see, I have pulled out a bunch of Tim Holtz people right here in case, but I don't know if they really go with this. You know, I don't think they really go with this tag. So I'm just adding yarn or ribbon to this one. So like here's some eyelash trim that would go to finish these off. So let's just cut a few pieces of that and those will be ready. So I just have about a half an hour before I have to get ready for work. So I am trying to see what I can get done 
this morning and then I can put everything away that's here the rest you know my yarn and my Tim Holtz and get out the stuff for my next project I am working on that file folder journal that I did a couple video <clears throat> excuse me a couple videos ago so I'll be working on that too but that's my May design team, team project, so I don't want to get it done too early. <laughs> you know what I mean? Since it's only April, the middle of April. So there we go. Isn't that pretty? Just with a little bit of yarn. And we have journaling room on the back. So cute. So that one's done. So yeah, this is how I thought. I just spend a little bit of time last night and this morning you know, have this stuff done. I won't have it just sitting here unfinished. And this way I can grab it when I need it. Okay. This is kind of fun just to challenge yourself to uh, use things that like this that you've made but you haven't decorated or you know got really got ready to go yet so pretty so let's see what else do I have I have these right here these all need to be decorated and these need something I've got some scraps that I made from my business cards here that I made in my video uh, yesterday <clears throat> so those and I've got all these scraps here too from that so I could incorporate some of these if I can I would like to instead of adding them to my scrap box <clears throat> excuse me it's morning got my coffee here too so all of these uh, let's see so these are blank I've already punched holes punched holes in that one this one I haven't punched a hole yet let me punch a hole in this this one needs a big hole. Okay, that one's got a hole. These are journaling cards. These, I don't know if they need to be, <clears throat> these don't have to be decorated, but let me see if they can, if I want to do anything with them. Uh, I've got my flowers, like I could add a little green flower here somewhere and see I've just got a mess here on my desk but I was just you know spreading things around so I could see what I have so I can just grab things and layer or decorate something like that or it could be down here I don't know. I'm thinking this doesn't really need anything. Like this looks out of place. I mean, it looks okay, but you know, it doesn't like look like it really needs anything. So I don't know if you can see, but it's a lacy pattern in the background. This is double-sided scrapbook paper, but it can be used and just tucked into a journal. So I'm going to leave that like that. I think this one I did decorate before. So let's see if we can do something with this. I've got these blue tickets here. I could add a ticket and uh, some flowers. It's just a white flower, but something like this. And a blue flower, just to do something with it. And See the other one, I had another one of these that I already decorated. Let's see where it is. This was a scrap from my scrap box. <clears throat> I used a ticket on this one. So I don't want to do the same thing, but something similar I could do. So let's just go ahead and put a ticket on this one, but we'll put it in a different spot on the other side or 
put it across the bottom. Let's do that. Glue it all the way down. I didn't make a pocket. This is more papery than cardstock, so I don't want to, you know, make it work too hard as far as, you know, a pocket where you were, would be sliding things in and out. So let's glue this flower down on here too. It's a little punch out. And then layer it with another. Well, here's a blue one. Let's layer it with a blue one. This is double. This is from a children's book. Believe it or not, I just had these all in one bag. That's why I know what it's from. All my children's book little flowers like this. I punch out a bunch from a book, from book pages that I had left. And uh, put them in one bag so I would know what, for the moment anyway, know what they were from. So that's cute. Got a blue thing going on there. It's all glued down. It could write on the back. Okay, I'm gonna call this one done. I think, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't think I see anything else that I wanna put on here. So, uh, I just don't have anything else out right here. I mean, you could add some bling or something, but I do like my things to be flat so that I can put them in and out of a pocket easily any way I want, slide it to the side or down. So this is nice and flat, so it'll fit anywhere. So that's done. These two, they, these all need some ribbon here because they're all tags. So let's grab ribbons. Let's see what I have here. Oh, here's some pink. I can add something pinkish to this. Little pink yarns. Some of this, this is like suede ribbon. I used this the other day too. It's really neat. So let's get a piece of this. It's not, I don't know if it's really suede, suede. It just feels like suede to me. So put this on this pink one. Just cleaning up. A little chilly this morning. I'm not sure what the temperature is. I haven't looked yet, but <laughs> I got my little heater going in here just to uh, get some chill out of the room. There we go. Now we could put something on there, so I'm going to leave it out. This is a yellowish with the little black, little black flowers right there. So let's see what might look good on there. I've got some, there's some gold in this right here. That would look pretty. Let's cut a piece of that. This is eyelash trim. It's a little bit hard to get through the hole sometimes with all the eyelashes, but it can be done. <laughs> it's kind of Pull everything through, hopefully. A little fiddly. There, I think I got it. And there we go, isn't that pretty? Okay, that one has something. Do we need any more pink? These are, this is all neutral here. Okay, this is my scraps. Okay, let's find something pretty for those. Put this pink back in here. It doesn't have to be neutral. It can be any color for these. So there's one in here that has different colors on it. Maybe some of that. This one here. That might be pretty just to have options because there's all different colors on here. Here's a brown one too, like a glittery brown. I can use that. I only got a little bit left. So I could use that up. That would be cool to use that up. Okay, I'm just going to stuff this back in here so I can start getting things back in order. Let's see. Oh, there's a little piece of this too. Maybe I can use that up. It's purple, I think. <clears throat> yeah, that's purple. Okay. Let's see if I can 
use this. We'll put it in here. I use up some bits of yarn. And then we'll decorate these. That's pretty. So here's the brown glittery one. Let's see if that's too long for one. Might need to split that up into two pieces. We'll do two with this. go that's pretty can you see that it's glittery let's put the other glittery one on this this one here something different instead of doing these two the same then we'll find something for that So this different colored one we didn't use yet. <clears throat> Got my allergies going, of course. Keep waiting for the pollen to dissipate. <laughs> it hasn't dissipated yet. Halfway through the month, so hopefully the second half, the pollen will start going away. It'll be nice. That's pretty. I like that. Okay. All right. Let's get this out of the way now. Cleaning up, cleaning up. Let me see. This is my pink bag. This is my green and green yellow bag. That I oh, here's my brown bag. I know this is well. This is this was blues and brown. So let's put this back in here. Cleaning up. We got some this one here eyelash trim. I think I'm done now. I put strings on all the tags. I don't need any more of this. So I can get it all cleaned up. This is a long one. <laughs> but, yeah, these are really nice. These I got in Happy Meal. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm trying to use everything. Use what's in my stash. It's been kind of fun. Not fun, but, you know, I've enjoyed not spending money right now while we're, uh, you know, even though I love thrifting, it's been kind of neat to uh, just, you know, using things in my stash. Okay, I've got air in there. Hold on, let me get the air out. <laughs> do you have a thing about air in plastic bags? I kind of do. I don't know. So, getting the air out of there. There's too much air in there. Okay, this one, let's get that all back in there. Hard to get all the eyelashes in there, but I did it, I think. There's one sticking out, that's okay. <laughs> and this right here, all back in. So I'll be ready to throw this back into my little drawer. Or actually, it's a big drawer of all my trims. It's not big, big, but it's not small. I have all these I have throw I throw them all in one drawer and so I know where they are when I need them. Okay, so I've got my little flowers here getting mixed up with stuff. But you know what? This one just landed over here and it looks really cute on here. So let's just start with that. I love that. That's a lot of color to a plain tag. So maybe we'll do, do these plain ones first. I'll put these to the side for a second. These will probably be the easiest to decorate anyway because we're starting with a completely blank slate. That is so pretty. Okay. So, like, these can be decorated here and then writing space on the back. I've got little eyelashes everywhere now. 
So I've got some Tim Holtz people. Last night I was just saying, well, what fits where, you know? This guy's tall. This guy's too tall for any of. Well, yeah, he's too tall for any of these that he would fit on here. Let's see what else we have. Got all these little little tiny flowers here, and then so this guy was too tall. Let me put him to the side. Oh, here's a piece of ribbon I missed. Let me put that in my green bag. So tonight, if I don't get this stuff put away, at least it'll all be back in the bag when I get home from work and I can just put it where it belongs, you know? It'll be basically cleaned up here. Just put everything back instead of a big mess. Like, I, I don't have a big mess, but it's a little bit of a mess right here. Okay, so here's another big flower I can put here. And then little flowers I can that I've poured out that I can just layer with. So let's use some of those. Uh, let's see what color. I need a little bit brighter one for the top because these are dark. So let's use a brighter color that will show up on top of these. Or a lighter color. Not necessarily white. This is, I think this is not white. This is double-sided. So... Let me use that side up so it'll show up. And I kind of just um, layer my flowers like this. You see the petals on this one, and then I put the petals kind of in between the other petals so that you have a, a nice layered look. Okay, and then I'm going to glue this down. I could grab my distress ink and distress these or not. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I just don't know what I want to do yet. Uh, let me see. Do we want a ticket in the back of this guy? Let's see if we can get some tickets here. I'll do some more layering. That's two pieces. That's three pieces. This would be the fourth piece. And it would be like that. I think that would look cute. Let's do that. handsome on there and dapper with his hat and his sweater okay very nice and now we've got ourselves a nice decorated tag isn't it cute should I distress it yes or no We'll distress this one, and then we won't distress the other one, maybe. So let me grab my distress ink. Oops. My trash can I have right here beside my table. Okay, let's see what it looks like. I just want to see what it looks like. We'll, we'll compare one distress to not distress and see which one we like better. Of course, you know we usually like the distressed better, but <clears throat> sometimes it's nice to not have a distressed one. You know, whatever it is. There we go. <clears throat> a little bit of distressing there. And it's cute. All done. Another one for our stash. Okay. Let's do the next one. Try not to lose my glue pin here. Either not, I lost one. I think I'll, I'll probably find it eventually, but uh, it was on my table and it just disappeared. Don't know where it went. Okay, eyelashes. All right, so I've got little flowers and then one big flower here. Let's go ahead and glue this one down. And I'll show you my big flowers too. These aren't big, but they're bigger than that tiny one, so. <laughs> That's why I'm saying big. Okay, that can go there. And then here's my other big ones. I don't have them all in this bag right here. 
that I made from some book, book pages or children's book pages. And I just had dumped a few of these out last night just to see some different colors. So let's pick out a different color here. That one's kind of green. Here's a peachy one. Oops, I grabbed two. Well, I have more tags to decorate, so we'll put that over there. And glue this one down. I'm going to pick out a top flower. Let's pick out a... This one has different colors. It's from a book page. And it has... Uh, it looks like it has... I don't know what it has on it, but it has a, something on it. Besides just being white or blank. I'm going to put that one here. Cute. Okay, and this one, let's put, there's a green one here we'll put over top to show up, you know, so it doesn't just blend in. Eyelashes sticking to me. Okay, let's see, okay, those two flowers are done, we're going to need another flower for this one, let me go ahead and do something with this one while we're at it, because I grabbed this flower by mistake, so why not just use it, glue it down, we can get done here, before it's, my time runs out. Uh, oh, there's a yellow one. That would be pretty on top of that brownish one. Oh, this side's pretty too. I should have looked at that before I put glue on it. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. I have to choose. Okay, that's pretty too. I like that. See? Awesome. Okay, there's two more little flowers here. And two more tags here. So... Do we want to have a big flower on here too, or what? These are tiny. I think go ahead and get a flower for both of these, a bit, the bigger one. We'll go ahead and do two layered flowers on here too. Let me grab two more. I'm not looking at colors. I'm just grabbing flowers so that uh, don't think about it too much here. Just having fun. Okay, this one's yellow and white, so we're going to put that in there on this uh, reddish one here. I think you can see that okay as far as the color. So this one will show up on here nicely. Do that. Down in the corner. And then one for this. Is this one a light purple or dark purple? Let's do the light purple. Yeah, I had some book pages from a children's book that I didn't, I uh, didn't need. I didn't uh, really like what was on them, and so that's what I did. I made flowers out of them. <laughs> so just an idea. If you have child, you know, any kind of book pages that you don't like, you know, maybe either it's even word, just text. But it had some words maybe you didn't like that you're thinking, oh, I can't use this. I just need to throw it away. Well, you can just punch if it's not, you know, too brittle where you can't, you know, like if it's brittle, you kind of have to glue it down on something. But if it's brittle, I don't know. I don't know if I've tried to punch any brittle ones. I'll have to try that. But it seems like you're going to be gluing it down on something. If you're going to be gluing it down on something. If you can punch the punches through punch shapes, you know, through it, then you could still use it because you're gluing it down. So, something to do with uh, book pages that you don't necessarily like or can't use or don't want to use or don't want to use the whole page anywhere else. 
just punch it out. <laughs> it makes shapes, whatever shape, put shape, if you or cut, you know, cut, cut it if you don't have any punches. Make yourself a little te template of something, a flower or whatever, and punch it out. Okay, there we go. Three of those decorated, and we used all the flowers that I had out. So I have a jar that I'm. I'm going to add these two. I just have them temporarily in a bag, but tonight when I get home, I'll be able to put those away in the jar. Here's my little ones. I think I have enough. <laughs> that was fun, right? Punch and look at all the colors. Aren't they pretty? So I'm going to put those in my little two separate jars. I keep them in separate jars. Here's some ribbon I'm done with, so I'll be able to put that away tonight. We're getting things cleaned up here. So wrap that up and put that in my in the proper spot tonight so that'll be cleaned up okay so I've got three tickets left that I have out can you use that oh here's some more trim I didn't put away got this to put away and oh here's some okay here's the bag to go in all right I didn't see the bag it was covered up with paper dolls so I'll poke that back in there and that'll be cleaned up awesome thank you for helping me clean up this morning it would be nice when I get home just to throw all this stuff into its different spots where it goes. And I'm really anxious to get started on my new project, so I really wanted to get this done. So all I got left is these tickets, these paper clips I grabbed by mistake the other, last night. So these go right behind me. So, okay, those are put away. <laughs> all right. Getting some pro making some progress here. So all we have left is tickets, paper dolls. So let's see what will fit on here. Well, these two little girls look like they want to be on here. Look, wouldn't that be cute? And they fit on there perfectly, and they're adorable. So do we want a ticket on here too? I think we don't want a ticket on here. Maybe the tickets will go on here, and these just girls will just go by themselves. They're so adorable, and they're wide enough to cover the whole kind of tag there. Oh, they've got a punch out. Let me see. I didn't realize. Okay, let me get that off of there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that comes off. Okay. Trash. I'm going to put it on my desk. I'll clean it up. <laughs> see, they had a punch out right there. So this goes right here. So cute. Aren't they adorable? Make sure they're all glued down, but see, aren't they cute? Can you see? Okay. I think this, this one, I'm trying to see if she needs some glue under her feet. I think she does. A little glue under there. Okay, let me see what time it is. Okay, yeah. Okay, we'll finish these up and be done. But five more here, but these are tiny. So, I think I'll leave the, this is the biggest one. And this has the blue, a blue flower on top of there. This would be cute on here with something on top. And this would be neat on here with something on top. So let's just do it. Since I need to get done now, and I actually had 45 minutes, but I was thinking this would be a 30 minute video, but I'm still going, so let's just, since I'm almost done, let's finish up. Cleaning my desk. Kind of was inspired by um, Tina at Shabby Dabby Doo Dah, too. She was I uh, was watching a video yesterday which I was really found quite interesting where she's decorating a journal and she was just using things from her desk. I thought that was <laughs> first of all really cool to just and challenge yourself just to pick up stuff on your desk and use it to decorate pages in a journal and then then she came out with some beautiful beautiful pages so it's quite fascinating for me. <laughs> Okay, let's see. This, I like her, but her arms are stretched out a little bit too far. And she's 
She looks cute there, but I think she covers up her, her dress covers up so much, so I don't think I want to use her. So as we don't use people, I might have to grab some more people out of here though, because I think most of the people I have out might be too big. So I'm just going to take them all out and then put them back in as I don't use them. So like she's too big, so all the ones that are too big. He could be he could be cool in there. He looks like he belongs there, doesn't he? Okay, so maybe that one would be good for that. Here's a little boy. No, he's not gonna fit there, but he would fit there. Is he big enough? I don't know. He is big enough, but let me see. Let me make sure. You don't want to use, he's too big. I need a little tiny one for those if I'm going to use one on there. He needs something to rest his arm on, so I'm not going to use him. Let's see this one. This one might be perfect for here. Yeah, I think I like him better. He's a little bit taller. And he's too big for the little ones. So... Okay, I don't want this to take forever, so <laughs> kind of go through these quicker. I need a little one for this, these. Well, I really need a tiny one for those, don't I? Okay, I'm going to say those are going to go there, so I don't have to look for any more for those. I'll just be done with those when I glue those down. That one's even too big. That's, do I have any smaller ones? See, that's too big. Okay. I think I have some smaller ones. I just have to find them. <laughs> here, can you see all the Tim Holtz people right here? Okay. That guy's too big. We might not have any small ones, smaller ones then. I think I do, so let's see here. Small, small, small. Where are the little tiny ones? That one's too big. I see they almost fit. Almost. I mean, I could squish them on there, but they just look squished. So, let's see. These girls too big, too big, too big. All right, all of these go back in the bag. Uh, hope you don't mind sorting through these for a second. I think it would be fun to put some of these some of these on there if I have any that are tinier. Which I thought I did. Oh, here's a little dog. Put a little dog on one. That'd be cute. Little doggy. I knew I had something smaller. <laughs> Most of them were too big, but I need one more small because I like that dog. I have them. Well, there's already flowers on there. I was going to say I have my Tim Holtz flowers here, but I don't need another flower. Oh, I have... Oh, I could cut these two apart and use that little boy. That's an option. I think I will. I've never cut these before, but they look like they'd be okay cut apart. See? She's okay on her own, so... <laughs> There we go. We have a little boy. And his arm looks like it needs something, though. We'll have to put a flower or something next to him, I think, because his arm is cut off. His hand. Okay, so let's put these back in here. And then I'll be ready to put these away tonight. All right. And so let's glue these guys down so these are done. His feet. Okay. Eyelash. <laughs> okay, so these I'm not going to distress. I said I was going to just distress that one. I want to see what it looked like. They look good without distressing too. They look just have a nice clean, fresh look, right? So either way I like both looks. 
pretty. Okay, now this guy. Let's glue him down. To the side. Oh yeah, over here. Okay. I guess I like him over there. Oh, you know what? He has a punch out here. Let's see if I can get it before he glues down all the way. Uh, there we go. Now I can see his pants better. Okay, guy, straighten out. I moved you. Sorry. Stray flower just waited for me to pick it up. Let's see. I'm gonna put it right there. Okay, let me let me put it down first. I think under. No, no, over him. Okay, let's put him down first, and then we'll put that flower over his arm. Put it over the edge of the flower, but he doesn't want to go over there. He wants to go over here. Okay, I'll put you over there then. And this guy, let's see, he's two toned on this side, so I'm going to use the two toned side here and glue on this solid purple side. Put that right beside him, over his arm, so he doesn't look like he's missing his hand. Just all flower powered up there. <laughs> He's got flower power. Uh, I need some glue under that petal. It goes over his arm. Okay. Now he's done. Cute little boy on there. Okay, and now our doggy. So cute. I knew you I knew I saved him for something special. <laughs> I could have used him so many times and I haven't I don't know why I haven't used him. He's tiny, so I needed to be on something tiny tiny, I guess. So uh where do you want to go? Right in the middle, be the center of attention. <laughs> Uh, I think you need to go over this side a little bit, though. Yeah, there we go. Our glitter glue dries clear and it's not shiny, so if you get some extra on there. It's not as life-shattering as uh, other glues that are shiny. So there he is. Cute! So I have got everything done here. Everything cleaned up. Do you, if you remember the mess I had when I first turned on the camera, we have cleaned it all up, got everything put back into their bags. So tonight, when I get home, just scoop this stuff up and put it away. And now, let me grab my tissue because my allergies are, oh, you know, morning. I did take an allergy pill when I first woke up, so it can start kicking in. But uh, here we go. We just did all of this, decorated and put strings on and everything in a matter of about 45 minutes here probably. We did all of this, <clears throat> all of this right here, all of these. No wait, this one I had done already. This we decided that they were done. We put strings on these. And so we did all of this right here. This is what I had done last night. So I've got all of this to put in my stash. You know, ready to go and tuck into pockets in this one, in that tiny one. And uh, the scraps will go into my scrap box for now, which I'm working on on Saturdays with you on uh, my scrappy videos, Scrap With Me. And then here's what we got done today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So probably about, and there's probably another 12 here, so 24 pieces of ephemera ready to go. So thanks for watching. 
Thanks for helping me clean up this morning, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Have a great day, and happy crafting.